Can I do another movie? Yeah, go on. Since there are so many to do. So Silent House. Do you remember Silent House before? The Uruguayan film. Remind me. Oh, the Uruguayan film? No. Yes. Okay. So this is yet another of Should those... Should I? Well, I did review it, and you did listen to me review it, but it's probably gone out of your head. Oh, I was by probably now. just pretending. This is yet another of those English language remakes of a foreign language film that seems to exist largely to make the dialogue in English and er, uh, that's it, because apparently the multiplexes have a problem with, you know, showing films that have got subtitles for reasons which, and I'm sorry to go on about this, but it, it really, you know, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, you know what, you want to see Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, get the original Swedish-Danish version, because the fact of the matter is there's nothing in the new version that isn't really in that original version, all the problems, all the ideas, everything is there. So anyway... The whole gag of the original film was that it's, the tagline was real terror, real time, that it's all shot in one take. Story is, a young woman turns up at a house, a creepy house, the, 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 you know, the title, silent house gag, because the house is anything but silent. She turns up there with a father, uh, stuff is happening around the house that they've, you know, they've been in intruders. She starts hearing sounds around the house, and the next thing you know, bad stuff starts happening. The camera is with her all the time, first person. We see everything from her point of view playing out in real time, and all these events unfold apparently in one shot. Now, obviously, it doesn't not actually done in one shot. I mean, this is a nod to Hitchcock to some extent, but all the way through, the film has cuts in it. But it's constructed as it is a technical device which is it's all done in one shot. So now we move that over to America, we remake the whole thing in uh, English language with Elizabeth Olsen, who was absolutely brilliant in Martha May, Marcy Marlene. Story is she arrives at the house with her dad, somebody weird turns up, there's bad stuff happening in the past, here's a clip. How long's it been since you were out here? A long time, years. Yeah, I come by once in a while and I've seen other people here, but never a year. <laughs> yeah, other family come out now and then, but no one's really been here this last summer. But except for the people who keep breaking in and messing the place out. It was terrible. Yeah. Well, they broke almost all their windows. My uncle had to call the police to run them off. And... So what are you doing here now? We're fixing it up. You're going to sell it? That's too bad. So now redone from the makers of Open Water, which, which was quite a, a, another interesting one gag story. You know, the people are abandoned, they're in the open water. That is the whole story. The, the problem with it is this. Firstly, that gag about it's all done in one shot was a contrivance the first time round. And even the original film, which was shot for something tiny, I think the reported cost of the Uruguayan version was $6,000 and shot on digital video, you had to admire the craftsmanship of that idea because it was a single idea, how can we do it? Can we sustain this all playing out as if in real time? And the answer was no, but you know what? You can have, you can have a good go at it. In the case of this, it's like, okay, I saw this gag once before, and the second time round, it wore itself out long before the first film ended, and now to have to watch it again the second time round is a bit troublesome. A lot of people who will go and see Silent House will not have seen the original, to which my, the only thing I can say is you should have seen the original and, you know, don't, it, there's no excuse. It's not like, oh, well, I'm going to go and see the remake when I should have seen the original. No, go and see the original. The other problem is that Elizabeth Olsen is a really, really great actress and she was fantastic in Martha May, Marcy Marlene, but she suffers here from the Michael Bolton problem, which is... Bad hair? No, not bad Warbly hair. voice? No, no, no. Lack no. of hits recently? <laughs> None of the above. Oh, okay. The Michael Bolton problem is, have you ever heard Michael Bolton singing yesterday? Or whatever it is. You know, Michael Bolton's problem is that he goes from naught to 60 in the second line. You know, yesterday. Wow, my trouble! He's like, where are you going to go from there? You're halfway peaked, through the second line. too soon. Of the, exactly, you've peaked too soon. In the case of uh, Silent House, very, very early on, she descends into screaming hysteria and shaking and which she does absolutely brilliantly which she then has to sustain for the rest of the movie and it's the best part 90 minutes when you get to that point about 20 minutes in you go okay where are you going to go from here and the answer is well honestly nowhere just not, keep going it's not her fault because i'm absolutely certain that what she's doing is doing what she's been told to do by the filmmakers and she's you know she's she's doing that rather brilliantly the problem is it doesn't allow for much development so what happens is you end you sit there watching the film thinking I saw this before, done cheaper. The first time I saw it, there were creepy moments, but the idea, that central idea, started to wear thin. Second time round, you're thinking, it's not adding anything. She's a really great actress. She's been asked to peak too soon. There's another 60 minutes of this still to go. 
you start thinking about Blair Witch and remembering just how scary Blair Witch was the first time. You start thinking about Wreck and just what a mess they made of Wreck the second time round. And then you think, I'm not actually watching the film because what's happening is I've got used to the idea that it's a technical device and that's what it is. And it, in the end, it suffers from that greatest problem of, uh, of, of a horror movie of not being scary. You know, we are talking before about comedies have to make you laugh. Well, a horror movie has to be scary. And if you're just being impressed by the, oh, that's clever, they've managed to get the camera in and out of that room and all the way around without catching sight of the cameraman if you're on camera for the whole time and she's doing a really good job, but that's not enough. What you want is the suspension of disbelief and you don't get that. And you know what? See the original. There's no, there's no reason to have redone it and the original has a problem with the end, and this has exactly the same problem with the end, that you go... <clears throat> What's the end, then? I'm not telling you, okay. because I'll be giving away... I'll be told off for giving away pot spoilers.